Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I use these wooden crates to build up a cat tower and also bookshelves. This project is very easy and budget friendly, so I'm gonna share the entire process from the beginning until end. I have two lovely indoor cats. One is four and a half years old and the other one is one and a half years old. The first one I adopted when he was four months old. Three years later, I adopted the other one when he was four months old as well. They are both boys and love heights. I did get them two cat trees from Amazon before, but when they grew bigger, they seemed to lost the interest with those trees. So I started to look around the house to see if there is a perfect spot for me to build a cat tower for them. And I found it. Between our kitchen and the dining room, there's a pantry with a pretty good height and a flat top. For years I never used the top area for anything, although it could be used for a storage space, but that just never occurred to me. I think the top could be a great hiding spot for our cats to nest there, and I can use this corner wall to build up the steps for them to climb up. There were some phone outlets on the wall, we don't need them anymore, so I removed the covers and patched the holes before I painted the wall. With my current skill set, I thought about making some floating shelves around the corner for them to climb, but that means I can't use these shelves to display anything. There would only be empty boards on the wall so the cats can step on. I wanted to build something that can be used for storage space or bookshelves at the same time. I did some research online, then I discovered that Joann's currently has sales for wooden crates. This crate's original price was $12.99 each before tax, but right now they are on sale for $9.99 each. And if you buy online and the curbside pickup in store, you get extra 25% off. So I got 12 crates for $7.49 each. I actually only need 6 for this project. But with this price, I decided to save some more for later projects. This crate's pretty much in ready to use condition, so you don't have to sand them very much. I just used a 220 grit sanding sponge to get rid of any splinters. After sanding, I applied two coats of mini wax wood stain to the crates. The color I used is Early American. While waiting for the crates to dry, I painted the pantry wall with the same color we did for the dining room last year. The color is kind of deep, smoky blue. We still have enough leftovers to use, but since it's been a long time, you want to make sure it's stirred well before you apply it. After stains completely dried, I applied one coat of polycritic to protect the color.
Initially, I wanted to line up the crates right against the wall corner, but this way I don't think it gives much room for the cats to jump up and down. So that wouldn't work. I then decided to give each crate 4 inch of space, also a little way from the corner so the cats have enough room to work on and jump from crate to crate. I bought these anchors from an Ace Hardware store. Each one can hold up to 60 pounds. I want to store books on the wall, plus the weight of my cats, so having strong support is very critical. The instructions on this box are not very clear. I just had to figure out what's the right way to put these anchors into the wall. I did some measuring where I wanted the first crate to be. I used a small drill bit to drill the crate through the wall, then I changed it to a quarter inch drill bit to enlarge the holes so I can put the anchors in. I gently hammered the anchor in the wall and unscrewed the nail out of it. Then I secured the crate to the wall. When I put anything on the wall, I always use level to make sure everything's nicely lined up on the wall. My first plan was to put two nails for each crate, but later I added the third nail on to give it extra support. I worked until 10 o'clock that night, so that's why it gets a little dark for the video. Sorry about that.
Both of my cats immediately fell in love with these wall steps. They are very curious about the top part. Watching them playing around these wall units feels like all the work I've done for this project is worth it. Okay guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I like the multi-functionality about this DIY project. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future DIY videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.